Hi, this is Artifax of Mars. I can't let this one go, folks. The global warming wackos are blaming the sandwich for the Earth heating up. Oh, I, <laughs> you can't make this fun up. It's right here in black and white. It's a humble sandwich, a climate change culprit. They're insane. I told you, they want to starve you. They want to starve the common people to death. Scientists at the University of Manchester found the surprising global warming culprit. Sandwiches. I can't believe what I'm reading. In the first study of its kind, researchers carried out an in-depth audit of various sandwiches throughout their life. Cycles and found triangular meals could be responsible for the equivalent of annual carbon emissions of 8.6 million cars in Britain alone. In other words, your dirtbags don't like people eating. In 1762 or so, the story goes, the fourth Earl of Sandwich rocked the culinary world when he couldn't be bothered to leave the gambling table to eat in order to, the servants to just stick some meat between two slices of bread for him. Since then, the modern sandwich has become one of the most popular food formats. A little bit tired and worked some overtime last night. According to British Sandwich Association, the United Kingdom spends eight billion dollars, eight billion pounds, or U.S. 11.3 billion dollars on 11.5 billion sandwiches, with half made at home and other half made at shops, supermarkets, kiosks, and service stations. And they want to take that away from you. They'll better understand the environmental impact of all these sarnies. Manchester team looked at over 40 different sandwich types, recipes, and combinations as well as how they are made, packaged, transported, and stored. You idiots! People have to eat! Can't you understand that? In addition, they consider the waste product making them, as well as stale, rotten, or simply outdated sandwiches are thrown away. Now, well, people are slobs like that. Throwing a lot of food away. I understand that, but, uh, duh, it has nothing to do with the climate of the planet. What the researchers found is that not all sandwiches are created equal, and some varieties have larger carbon footprints than others. The highest footprint was found in pre-made, pre-packaged, all-day breakfast sandwiches that contain eggs, bacon, and sausage. They're kept packaged and refrigerated until sold and eaten, all of which is estimated to add up to 1.441 grams, or 3.18 pounds, of carbon dioxide equivalent, or roughly the same as driving a car for 12 miles. By contrast, the smallest footprint is that of a homemade ham and cheese sandwich. Overall, making your sandwiches at home potentially has carbon emissions prepared compared to their prepackaged equivalents. So essentially, these scientists want to ban the sandwich. That's what this is saying. Of course, they deny it. They want to, they want you to go hungry, folks. That's the way it is. I don't care. Right here is your proof. They would deny it, of course, but uh, I'm sorry. That's essentially what they're saying. According to the team, number of factors affect the sandwich's carbon footprint. Ingredients is one of them, with items like meat in general and pork. In particular, cheese, prawns, lettuce, tomatoes being particularly large footprint culprits. So now we can't eat lettuce, we can't eat tomatoes, cheese, prawns, I don't know what that is. 
producing these agreements, as well as bread and condiments, can account to 37 to 67 percent of the carbon dioxide produced. Other fact factors are packaging, which makes up 8.5 percent of the emissions, transportation, especially in refrigerated trucks, for 4 percent, and refrigeration of point of sale, making up another 25 percent. Manchester researchers aren't anti-sandwich. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Well, they do say that changing recipes and pre-packaging while reducing waste could result in a 50% drop in sandwich-related carbon emissions. Along with the BSA, they claim that something as simple as reforming cell by date system could save over 2,000 tons of sandwiches in Britain being wasted every year. We need to change the labeling of food to increase the use by date as these are usually quite conservative. Yeah, there's a reason for that, you moron. Uh, name's unpronounceable. A dis I don't know, he's a pagic. Merchant sandwiches undergo rigorous self-life testing and are normally safer consumption beyond the use by date started on the label. Stay on the label. So they don't care if you get uh, food poisoning or not. I told you to watch out for these sons of bitches. They're going to try to starve us to death. You'll go hungry if these people have you their way. I mean, it's right here in black and white. They deny it, of course, but uh, that's what they want. This is worse than the Mad Science update. This is, you know, lock them up and throw it away. Lock them up in a rubber room type Mad Science. Sorry, people have to eat whether you idiots realize it or not. Unbelievable. I want to fax to Mars. My blood pressure is rising. I'm getting angry, so I gotta quit. Thanks for watching.